My name is Carly Tetralik and I'm the Food Security Project Coordinator with EcoTrust Canada's North Coast Innovation Lab and Gitmak Makainiska Society. For me, food is so important because it's really hard to be resilient or to improve other areas of well-being if you're food insecure. So for me, improving people's food security and keeping them interested in local food production is directly a way to improve resiliency. This summer, I've been researching best practices for improving food literacy and food security for NISCA members in Prince Rupert. And then I've also been looking into different models for food distribution. So Gitmak Mackay just recently got a hydroponic unit, which is at Rupert Lawn and Garden. And so I've been looking at how can we get those products out to members and community members in Prince Rupert. In the first cohort, our opportunity was really, we were trying to see how much food could we grow in a greenhouse that wasn't being used to capacity. And now in the second cohort, we've given ourselves permission to think a lot bigger about how can we turn our half acre site into a legitimate food hub. Because there's kind of a misconception in Prince Rupert that it's really hard to garden or it's impossible, but as we can see, it is possible even with all of the rain. With our biggest challenge being a kind of lack of staffing capacity and specialized knowledge, we wouldn't have had the ability to hire Carly without the support of EcoTrust Canada. And so to have her expertise, her ability to research, um, and, and her more specialized knowledge, um, we're able to, to get into deeper into this project than we otherwise would have ourselves. And I'm so happy that we were able to get together for at least one sort of food-related workshop while I'm here. I think education is so important, so something like our container garden and food security workshop. Maybe eating enough food, but still be food insecure if you're not liking the foods that you're eating. I live on a boat, and eventually when we retire, I want to be self-sufficient on our boat. I do everything on my boat. I can smoke fish, dehydrate. I want to be able to be self-sufficient within three years. I think the joy of knowing that you planted it and then it grew and then you're able to eat it, sort of the, the security and the cost, like, you know, you buy things like asparagus and cauliflower and they're so expensive, right? So it'll be nice to um, actually grow some of the stuff you're gonna eat. That's the joy of it. I think with the COVID-19 pandemic, now more than ever, people are really interested in food security and local food production. It's something that's kind of on everyone's mind. I would also love in the future if Prince Rupert could see its own farmer's market, and that's something I'm hoping will continue after I'm gone. The past three years, the North Coast Innovation Lab have partnered with seven community organizations and businesses and supported 11 master's students working as project coordinators, on social innovation initiatives based in Prince Rupert. This work would not be possible without the generous support of our funding partners, namely the Vancouver Foundation, the Government of British Columbia's Rural Dividend Program, the Kerner Foundation, the McConnell Foundation, My Tax Canada, and the City of Prince Rupert. Thank you.